Good morning. Thanks for having me back. Today I'd like to tell you another story about my friend, old, old Honker. You've probably heard me talk about Honker. He lived here in town. He's not around anymore, but he lived here in town and, well, he talked a little different to us. He was from Maryland and he would tell you I was not born in Baltimore, but I did live on the outskirts of Baltimore. Well, as, as Honker grew up and finished high school, he had not really prepared for college very well because he did not think he would be financially able to go. But as it turned out, there was a company there in Baltimore that would let you work nights and go to school in days and pay for your schooling. You had to sign an agreement that you would work for them for a certain period of time after you got your degree, which was understandable, and they would pay for your education. So Honker jumped right on that. He, that was his kind of thing. He moved to a little apartment there in town that was close to school and to work where he could walk. He's a very frugal man. Well, as time went on, he was working night shift, going to school during the days. Sometime between getting off from night shift and time to go to school, he was sleeping a few hours. He was doing okay with that. But he began to, he wasn't really sick, but he just felt bad all the time. He was just, and he, it got worse and worse. So he goes to the doctor one day, and the doctor examines him and tells him, there's nothing, nothing really wrong with you physically. You may be a little tired, but you're holding up well to be working and going to school. But I think what you need, you need a pet of some kind. You need something. You're, you're not doing anything but working and going to school. You need some relaxation. You need a pet. Honk explains to him the apartment where I live doesn't allow dogs or cats, either one, so I, I would like to have a pet, but I don't. He said, well, check around. There might be something, said, maybe an iguana. And Honk told him, oh, no, I, I hate lizards. I, I don't, I just couldn't stand one. The man said, well, there's something probably. Check around. So Honk goes to a large pet store there, and he looks around at several different possibilities. They have centipedes, little centipedes, just, you know, a whole thing of them there. Somehow that attracts Honk. They tell, they tell him, well, it, it doesn't take much to feed them, just a few scraps of lettuce or some other kind of greenery that they can eat on, and they'll, they'll do well on it. Well. Honk buys a centipede and he brings it home with him. He talks to the centipede a lot. He even gets to thinking the centipede talks back to him. I don't know if it really did or not, but they communicated. Honk began to feel better. This was working for him. He had a little pill bottle and he drilled some holes in it so the centipede could get air. He'd drop him in, let him, or he would lay it down and the centipede would actually crawl in it. He put the lid on so he could carry it in his pocket without damaging or losing his centipede. He named him Centipede. Hawk was very original. Hey, Centipede, you want to go for a walk? Sure. So they'd get out and walk in the park. Hawk would get in a secluded place and let the centipede out of his pill bottle for a while where he could look around and see the environment. Honk's doing well. He takes him for a walk nearly every day. It was probably the walk that was really helping Honk as much as anything, but he credited the centipede and the, the company that he had there with the centipede. He really enjoyed his centipede. Well, once Honk hasn't been going to church since he moved to the apartment, and it's been quite a while. And he kind of wanted to go, but he didn't want to go, and back and forth. Well, he's feeling so much better now. One Sunday morning, he wakes up early, has a bite to eat. And he says, well, I'll go to church today. Well, he starts getting ready to go to church, and he thinks of Centipede, and he says, hey, Centipede, you want to go to church today? Okay. 
Well, get dressed. Well, Honk is dressed and he's waiting. Centipede doesn't come out of his little box. Hey, Centipede, bear in a minute, man. Centipede, we're going to be late. Come on. What's taking you so long? Hold your horses, man. I'm putting on my shoes. So that's the honk story of the day, and thank you. <laughs>